Shout out to my, 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 my little Jewish homies out there. You know what I'm saying? Every time we go to their house, what's up, E? You Would you like a Canada Dry? You know what I'm saying? Canada Dry? Go and run it. You know? <laughs> What is this high fiber food? Oh, foods that help prevent. Okay, high fiber food. So yeah, so the second part, you, you you should eat you some oatmeal, couscous, and brown rice if you get high. You know what I'm saying? So you don't get chest pain. Sweet potatoes, that's for the gym cats. Carrots and beets. Well, carrots are for children and beets are for the elderly. So you got to pick yours. Carrots are for the children, beets are for the elderly. A sweet potato can be for anybody in between. Green vegetables such as asparagus, your wife gonna be mad at you, or your girlfriend, or your sneaky link. But you're not gonna have chest pain if you eat asparagus. Broccoli, green beans. Eh. I got a tip for y'all. If you 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 got, if you don't want chest pains when you're getting high, get some green beans and broccoli when you're out there eating fast food. The trick for the hood is eat the green beans and broccoli first. Just eat it, get it out the way, and then whatever else you got on the plate, it'll taste that much better because you're not starving no more. Your 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 intestinal, your stomach lining is coated with you know the broccoli and the green beans and the carrots. Sweet potato too. If you on that gym life, you know what I'm saying. Just eat that mess first. It might not be delicious. Don't put no cheese, broccoli, you know. That, no. Eat straight up. Broccoli, all that. Asparagus is tight, but, you know, alkaline foods, we know about that. I'm going to just scroll through, through this so y'all can see it. Watery foods. I don't know about watermelon. You know the old myth. So I, I, I don't see, I ain't seen nobody in the hood eating watermelon in in the last 30 years unless it was the elderly or really small children i heard another theory that they put that out there like on them old shows and y'all in the 50s and 60s or whatever and the watermelon like they created that stereotype in hopes that more minorities would eat watermelon and it's cheap and all that and it's huge but i heard they put that out there because you know like how when white people eat chicken or whatever it might not be clean, but when cats from the hood, it's Puerto Ricans and all, I'm the hood, anybody of color, but it clean bone, clean bone. There ain't even oil left on that bone. That boy, that looked like a dry piece of like a, 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 a dried up stick or something. You know, you know what I'm saying? So the same thing goes for this. So the watermelon, non-urban people, there's probably no chance of them eating a watermelon seed unless it's little kids. You know, that's the risk on the wayside. Hood cats? Oh, yes. We we want appendix burst. You know what I'm saying? That was the theory I heard. I'm not sp saying that's, you know, facts or something, but I heard that was put out there so a bunch of people could get appendix burst. You know, hood cats get appendix burst and whatever problems like that. And what, what did they say? It would have more people come to the hospital and they could, like, keep them tallied up and checked because it's always been like hood people don't go to the hospital unless it's death. You know what I'm saying? But, you know, if you got appendix bursts, come on into the hospital. Let's see what type of organs you can don. You know what I'm saying? You could donate and, you know. And then the, the flip side of it, what I heard, is, um, you know, when little white kids, when they're growing up, they tell them, don't eat watermelon seed because it'll grow a tree in your stomach. Those, that's white folklore right there. I know about stuff like that because I done been in all the little circles and all that. That's why I, I don't go on the internet. I go in circles of real life human beings. We, we ain't living for the internet. We living for real life. But now we're back on the internet. So make sure you go and like and subscribe since we back. Wait, here it is. Bam! We back on the internet. Just because we old now, we got to drop wisdom. Heartburn remedy, milk. Oh, here we go. Does milk help with heartburn? Milk is often thought to relieve heartburn. Skim milk, non-fat milk, 
Fat in milk can aggravate acid reflux, but non-fat milk can act as a temporary buffer between the stomach lining and the acidic stomach contents and provide immediate relief of heartburn symptoms. So now we got to recalculate our theory. You know what I'm saying? If somebody's dying, you see all the memes. He needs some non-fat milk, not just from regular milk. He need non-fat milk. You know why? So it can act as a temporary buffer between the stomach lining and acidic stomach contents to provide immediate relief of heartburn symptoms. Put, some, put the chain up for that. You need non-fat milk. That's what you need to be drinking. I think we should stop the video right here. Ginger. That's why y'all are seeing. Shout out to my, 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 my little Jewish homies out there. You know what I'm saying? Every time we go to their house. What's up, E? You would you like a Canada Dry? You know what I'm saying? Canada Dry, go and run it. You know <laughs> they all, and they got the little ones too, like the the ones that's like eight ounce. Like you ever seen? Remember them drinks for the little kids? Um, little hug and all them things that's in the little barrel, the little kid drinks. They have ginger ale like that. So they got Canada Dry, and they got some some other ones. I don't remember, but. When I go to my Jewish homie's house, most of the time, I, I'm good. I bring I bring my own water. Like, I got a big water jug I walk around with because I'm trying to eat to live. That's why I'm doing this video because we ain't eating cheese and all that. And you know what I'm saying? And if we do go to the club, we will not be having chest pain because we did not eat pizza and bacon and burger and all that. You understand? We, we, we ate broccoli. Get you a ginger ale, man. Apple cider vinegar. That's a crossover. Like some of the hood is, they're using it for other stuff, but by the wayside, they, they, they won't get chest pain. Lemon water. So I don't know, man. Let's just go right here. Because this is it, man. This is the this is the ending of the video. Does milk help with heartburn? Sure. Non-fat milk is better. But I think. If you high or you freaking out, it's because you think you're dying. And you think you're dying because you got acid reflux or heartburn or something. And he do need some milk. And I think that's what the people, because remember, I, I've heard get drink some milk since the 90s. Long time, long time. You know what I'm saying? So... If you have some theories that I don't know about that I couldn't Google... Get get to the comment section and let your boy know. Like and subscribe. Let your boy, you know what I'm saying? I think milk helps with heartburn. It is what it is. We'll end the video right here, man. We out. <laughs>